hi when it comes to network analysis and uh, in the unit resonance we have an important topic which is uh, expression for bandwidth let me not waste your time and uh, straight up explain if what the derivation usually it will be asked to derive the expression for the bandwidth in a reason as far as resonance is concerned so uh, let me not waste your time with the theory let me straight away derive the expression for it all right keep focusing so where the discussion starts from uh, it's where, uh, like it's a well known thing that uh, expression for power is equal to power is given as a uh, v into i which is also another form it has got another form it's i square into r plugging in uh, i as it is so v will be equal to i into r and then it will be i square r isn't it so and during this discussion to evaluate the expression for bandwidth uh, we have to consider the half power half power it's like a uh, half power like half of the power will be equal to like uh, i square r upon half so in this expression which one is constant and which one is uh, varying like uh, it will be uh, the resistance the resistance is constant and the current will be varying in this expression so we a small modification over here this one uh, like uh, i square by 2 into r it can be written like this isn't it and another sim another transformation over here itself it's like uh, can this be written can this combination be written as i by root 2 whole square yeah it can be written come back uh, square on the current and uh, root n the square get cancel and 2 as it is isn't it so this can be uh, this will be this is the modification half power frequency half power frequency all right so just focus on this one inside the bracket at half power freak half power when it comes to that a half power the current is reduced to 1 by root 2 times its maximum value if it is i its maximum value all right and uh, at half power the current is reduced to its uh, uh, root 2 times of 1 by root 2 times of its maximum value in the sense at half power the current will be 0 0.707 like that right 1 by root 2 oh, take a pause check it in your calculator 1 by root 2 that's that value will be 0 0.707 times i all right remember this statement we have to make use of this one in this in this derivation we have to make use of this statement what is that statement at half power the current will be reduced to it so uh, reduced by the factor 0 0.707 right in a sense uh, the current is reduced to 1 by root 2 times its maximum value right and getting back to the uh, series RLC circuit here um, with the supply V and uh, considering the series R L C all the all the three elements being series in series we have R L and C right and assuming a current I flowing over here assuming a current I flowing what do we have we have uh, um, I will be equal to v upon z so what is that the series combination of all these three elements will be the um, impedance of uh, the circuit all right and what is that so what is z over here z will be equal to the series combination of all these so what it is r plus xl plus xc will be the series combination and one step ahead r plus what is xl it's a j omega l plus 1 by j omega c isn't it so taking out like a uh, real term r it's real so nothing to do with that taking out uh, yeah a small modification over here all right take a pause and just watch this j this j can be written as minus j all right so if you need that clarification let me tell you 1 by j multiply j by j multiplying the denominator and numerator with the j uh, from here j in the numerator as it is j into j j square j square is negative 1 so that negative all right in that way uh, in the previous expression like uh, 1 by j can be written as minus j and r as it is so plus j taking out that j as common so what do we have omega l minus 1 by omega c all right so now this will be z so uh, it's a rectangular uh, representation like a rectangular coordinate representation so we take the modulus of z magnitude of z which is uh, what it is r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square all right now this plug like uh, we will be considering the i which is equal to v upon magnitude of z 
right and now this current now this current which is equal to this remember here you have to focus over here all right getting back to this one what it says at half power the current reduces to one by root two times all right which current now this current will be reducing uh, to it's one by root two times in at half power uh, at half power when we consider the half power so this is the statement we'll be applying over here right so rewriting that expression for current what do we have i which is equal to v by modulus of z will be equal to what it's a v upon under root r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square and this entire expression is under the root now this current this maximum current at half power will be reducing to i by root 2 times all right so that current which you are talking about that current which you are talking about about this circuit which is flowing in that circuit at half power uh, and going a little bit front uh, we are talking about resonance and so we have to focus on uh, different frequencies and that particular frequency at which the power will the power will be reduced to its half value at that point the current will be reduced to 1 by root 2 times all right and well known expression for uh, uh, i according to ohm's law what do we have 1 upon root 2 as it is i can be written as v by r isn't it i can be written as v by r so now this current will be reducing to this value at half power at half power and half power frequency so these two equations are equal particularly at half power all right so these two equations are equal and from the like uh, this is this is no more so what do we have from the denominators we have root 2 r which is equal to under root r square plus omega l by 1 minus omega c whole square all right so squaring on either side uh, root with the root it's impossible like it's a tedious job to go ahead so squaring on either side what do we have here square uh, squaring on either side squaring on either side so this square and root gets cancelled we don't have that anymore the square the square term and the root in this expression in this RHS we don't have anymore so which is equal to and again uh, this root it will be 2 all right we don't have this root anymore and r will be r square right so this is the final expression when squaring on either side and from this one we have omega l minus 1 by omega c that will be equal to yeah this one this this r square when pulled to this side that will be 2 r square minus r square that will be resulting into r square and i'm sorry we need to have that square over this side which square yeah we have this square and this square this has it's a quadratic expression this it's a it's a quadratic and quadratic expression will be having two roots isn't it so what is the what are those two roots omega l minus 1 by omega c will be equal to plus or minus r two roots isn't it isn't it it will be plus r or else minus r uh, from the expression for the quadratic quadratic equation has two equations i mean two roots so those are the two roots okay so we have omega l minus 1 by omega c that will be equal to positive 1 for the one for the first root and omega l minus 1 by omega c which is equal to negative r for the second root and take a pause here let me i want to say something over here so something minus something which is equal to positive r and again the same something minus something is equal to negative r that's insane so we'll have we'll be having different values of omega over here so let me give the name for the positive one omega 2 for the higher value and for the negative one omega 1 and omega 1 All right so let this be equation 1 and let this be equation 2 why omega 2 and omega 1 guys think once for the same value for the same difference do we have positive and do we have for the same difference do we have the negative values no it's in, insane isn't it that's a, that's a stupid stupid argument so we have uh, uh, different values of omega why omega omega is varying frequency l is constant c is constant over there so that's the point all right so keeping this in mind and we are discussing about uh, the discussion is going on about series rlc circuit all right so keep that in mind and we have two equations over here so adding these two will result something a one plus two adding these two let's check if what results all right so in the rhs it will be zero 
adding positive or negative or uh, the sum will be zero and here it's a omega 2 l minus uh, 1 by omega 2 into c plus omega 1 into l minus 1 by omega 1 into c which is equal to 0 from this this one as it is we can write it as it is it's a simple addition all right and so so taking out l as common from this one this and this what do we have l and it will be omega 2 plus omega 1 from this one all right so taking out minus 1 by c as common from here and here so what do we have uh, it has come out this has come out so what do we have 1 by omega 2 plus 1 by omega 1 which is equal to 0 all right so uh, it's a negative this side taking two rhs that will be positive so i am just taking over here itself all right which is now this will be equal to this right so um this as it is which is in the lhs omega 2 plus omega 1 will be equal to 1 by c also as it is so um, simplifying this one omega 2 omega 1 and uh, um, what it is omega 1 plus omega 2 that will be the resultant and something gets cancelled over here guys this two uh, omega 2 plus omega 1 on either side gets cancelled so what do we have omega 2 omega 1 which is equal to 1 by l into c this one this taking this to that side that will be this one and interchanging that's that's it all right so remember this one this is an important expression it's an important expression and which is also guys uh, um, what now 1 by l c that will be omega r square from the initial discussions for resonance initially what do we say xl will be equal to xc isn't it so which is omega magnitude magnitude i am sorry omega l will be equal to 1 by omega c isn't it and uh, this one this uh, omega is r omega r all right so omega omega r square will be equal to 1 by l c and so this is the one this is the one we'll have to uh, make use of this expression in while we mm, subtract one and two that gives us the expression which we are in search of bandwidth what we are in search of all right so we don't have we have this one so i'll be erasing this one all right um, yeah i need equations one and two and this one will be so hope you understand up to this part we are almost there we are almost there right having done this one that will be easier that will be simplifying the expression even to much more extent extent so guys uh, the first result adding one and two that was the resultant let's check if what happens with the one minus two one minus two what will be the resultant so one minus two in the sense this will be negative and this will be positive and this will be positive all right so in the sense omega 2 l minus one by omega 2 into c here from this one and and subtracting isn't it so this will be minus omega 1 into l plus 1 by omega 1 into c which is equal to it's adding so it will be 2r it will be 2r that's it all right so this adding just subtracting 1 and 2 and that will be the resultant 1 plus 2 resulted that one and 1 minus 2 so once again taking l as common from both the terms all right so taking l as common from both the terms what do we have omega 2 minus omega 1 we are done with this one we're taking out l as common this l and this l this will be omega 2 minus omega 1 all right now uh, what taking out negative 1 no 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 positive positive 1 by c let's let's check even i didn't do it let's check if what happens with the uh, so what it is 1 by oh, positive 1 by c has come out 1 by omega 1 minus 1 by omega 2 all right c has come out already which is equal to 2 i's of r 2 i's of r and this can be simplified i guess it's a ratio and that has to be simplified so upon simplifying that one what do we have uh, let's let's see 1 by c no sorry positive 1 by c from the previous one 
so what do we have the lcm will be omega 1 into omega 2 all right which is equal to eyes of r that's as it is so what about this one omega 2 minus omega 1 from the simplification isn't it and also l into omega 2 minus omega 1 from this previous expression and uh, something can be taken out as common from both the terms omega 2 minus omega 1 can be taken out as common omega 2 minus omega 1 can be taken out as common and inside the bracket what do we have from here it's a l and from here it will be plus uh, what it is 1 upon omega 1 omega 2 into c right it gets multiplied so we already have taken omega 2 minus omega 1 as common from both the terms so which is equal to twice of r all right so simplifying this one it's a ratio simplifying this one it will be like uh, lcm will be no let me do it over here lcm will be what omega 1 omega 2 into c lcm and cross multiplying it will be it will be positive so 1 plus omega is that negative or no no it's positive isn't it we have this plus uh, let's check omega cross multiplying omega 1 omega 2 uh, l and c inside the bracket which is equal to twice of r and over here we have omega 2 minus omega 1 all right yeah that's it and yeah i'm sorry um, i need this place all right we are almost there we can finish it in one step over here one or couple of step, steps it can be concluded in couple of steps guys uh, I mean we are for the bandwidth we are we will be in search of omega 2 minus omega 1 all right so when it comes to that of bandwidth it will be omega 2 minus omega 1 which is equal to uh, twice of r from this very expression and making it like shifting this it will be uh, r c omega 1 omega 2 this goes up and gets multiplied upon it's a 1 plus what it is omega 1 omega 2 and l c all right so guys omega 1 omega 2 into l into c that will be equal to 1 this one this expression here from this expression it's omega 1 omega 2 into l into c that will be equal to 1 from this very expression and in the sense omega 1 omega 2 into l c that will be 1 all right so here i am erasing over here please focus make a note of this one it's a 1 all right from this very expression and uh, it's a sum so 1 plus 1 it's a 2 it's a 2 and this 2 this 2 gets cancelled all right and what else omega 2 minus omega 1 that will be um, let's see r and guys once again another simplification over there we have omega 1 omega 2 into what is that into c that will be equal to 1 by l from here from here itself all right this c over here omega 1 omega 2 into c that will be equal to 1 by l in the sense this one this entire product omega 1 omega 2 into c that could be plugged in with 1 by l over here the similar one r as it is and this one entirely that could be 1 by l and we are in search of f2 minus f1 so taking out like 2 pi f2 minus 2 pi f1 that will be equal to r upon l right so that's it and taking out uh, 2 pi as common from here and here we will be having f2 minus f1 which is equal to r upon 2 pi into l which is the expression for bandwidth in a series rlc circuit thanks for watching